Oversight because it's a work day. Yeah. See, I'm Matt kidding. wasn't a work day, so I could have beers. And no beer sponsorship, so I don't know. I own a bar. Can I, I know. Beers? You could have brought some down. Well, <laughs> who's bad is that? is that? Is that on me or is that on you? I could have offered. Okay, yeah. no worries. Sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, um, Leah. Yes. Tell everyone who you are and what you do. I'm Leah. Do you want me to look at the camera? You, you can look there, you can look here, okay. you can talk to me, you can do whatever you want. Right. Um, I'm Leah. I have many hats, so it's hard for me to introduce myself sometimes. <laughs> um, I guess most people know me as a B-girl, as a breaker, mm -hmm. um, but I also own a venue. And yeah, I do lots of creative things. You do? Yeah. You kind of like the hype people for the Brisbane Heat as well. Yeah, yeah, also dance for the Brisbane Heat and created the hype crew for them. Yep. Yeah, yeah. For over a decade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they won. They won this year. That's all which is on awesome. You. That's yeah. you. You get all I'll the put, credit. We hyped them up enough yeah. that they won finally. <laughs> After a decade. Again, they have won before. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I manage the hype crew. I have a dance company called Elements Collective. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we produce lots of cool events and workshops, and we have a creative space in the valley that's called EC Venue. Um, so I've been running that for 14 years. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, EC Venue's got a couple of different spaces that we hire out to different creative companies each week and they run workshops and their own kind of thing. And yeah. I also run my own events from there. I've got some bars there. Yeah. yeah, so it keeps me busy. It's very cool. And yeah. I heard recently that you were, oh, how would I say this? You were, you were named as the, the grandmother of um, breakdancing. <laughs> I shouldn't be flattered but it makes me feel pretty old. Now, I recently ran um, a really big um, international breaking workshop event. So I brought three world champions over and um, I didn't realize until the post started coming up that a lot of the people that were there were my old students yeah. who are now adults. And yeah, they started just randomly. Someone said the godmother of Brisbane breaking because <laughs> I produce a lot of stuff for the breaking community. And, but then, yeah, all my old students started saying, my breakdance mom. <laughs> and, and yeah, I got tagged in a whole bunch of that. So I feel like that should be my formal title now. Yeah, okay. It's gonna make you mom. proud though, right? Yeah, it does. It's cool to see, yeah, kids who I used to teach who are now growing up and now they're teaching and they're performing and competing and rocking it. So it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, you know, I feel old because I knew you when you were a kid. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it's always a similar situation. Mr. Wood? Yeah, that's a long time ago. Browns playing high school in yeah. oh, 1990 to 2000. Yeah, yeah, I finished in 99. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's, that's like a whole lifetime ago. Yeah, yeah. I was showing my, I was telling my mum that we were doing this. My mum used to work with Brett at the school and she couldn't remember what you looked like. Wow. And I showed her the video and, of the yep. other ones that you've done here and she was like oh that's so cool like <laughs> so that he's doing that now she would never i used to get free lunches from your mum because mm -hmm. i'd help out in the canteen yeah when they were a bit short stuffed and i'd come, often come back from playground duty and there'd be you know salad roll or a pie on my desk i'm like good old mum she'll look after you there you go yeah so you know i always say to new teachers two people in every school you need to be kind to or kindest to canteen convener mm -hmm. and uh, front office staff because they're the ones who control the resource cupboard so you can get free yeah. pens and paper. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, make friends with them. All right, well, we're here to talk about tattoos. That's what this whole project's about. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking before, like before we started about, you know, the fact that when you got your first tattoos, there weren't many people and especially no, not many females mm. with tattoos. So kind of what, what made you decide, you know, I stuff it, I'm going to get ink. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was definitely lots of people that had tattoos, but in my circle, my close network of friends, like I didn't have any heavily tattooed mates. They are now covered in tattoos. Um, but yeah, I just loved the look of it. I used to love the look of just like heavily tattooed females for some reason. And I was a goth kid at school and an emo kid, and I just loved that aesthetic. And um, I've spoken to a couple of girls actually that have tattoos about how like before we had tattoos, we 
used to get piercings or like dress in certain ways and stuff and how weirdly once I showed my personality in a different way I felt more comfortable to dress in different ways right. as well like I not that I'm dressed extremely feminine feminine today but like you know I dress more feminine than I used to I am play with makeup whereas I don't know for some reason that tomboy in me was yeah that was the way I showed my personality without yeah. tattoos yeah. just strange yeah yeah and I found out a lot of girls have the same weird identity crisis okay. once they've had their tattoos for a while okay yeah and, and, and you were saying before you don't even think about yourself with, as someone with tattoos now yeah I've had them for so long that I forget that I have them and then I see a photo and I'm like oh okay yeah they're still there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're definitely still yeah, there. Yeah, I forget about it. Yeah, yeah, completely. Yeah. Tell us about your first tattoo. My first one is this bass clef here. Um, I played music my whole life. I played instruments that read bass clef yeah. my whole life. Yeah. And um, my buddy Jules, who is also very heavily tattooed mm -hmm. and um, had started getting tattooed when I lived with her and I was like, oh, okay, I should do it. What should I get my first one? And she's like, something that like, you're not going to obviously regret, but something that's important to you. And I was like, okay, well, I still read music and music is a huge part of my life. So yeah, I got a little bass cliff. Um, and I, I don't think I'll ever cover that up, even though it's all blurred yeah, yeah. and going a bit blue. I love it. And yeah, that's still important to me that one. Because you played bass in Halfway Out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a little ska band. A little punk ska band. From, from those people who remember, <laughs> we're going a long way back. We're going a long way back, 2000 era. Yeah. 2001 to yeah, 2005 wow. or six or something. Okay. Yeah. And so what progressed from there? Like you start with something tiny, something safe really. Yeah. And kind of on the underside of your hand, so yeah. it's not that visible. Where did you go from there? I jumped. I went from, from that to this. Wow. But I actually only had a three quarter sleeve, so I went to about there. And I, I don't know the time difference, maybe a year or two. Yeah, okay. um, so yeah, I started getting this sleeve and this is, I just loved old traditional style of tattooing. So like Sailor um, Jerry kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I really yeah. loved yep, that kind yep. of flash look. So, I mean, a lot of it's really generic, but Let the Music Play is just like some lyrics that I loved. Yeah. And it just resonated with me as a dancer as well. I dance for a living and I've played music my whole life. Yeah. And like letting the, Let the Music Play is like just, I think, my soul. <laughs> sure, and you play yeah. music as well. Like and I you're play a musician music. as well. So yeah. not just a dancer, but musician. Yeah. And so that ties in with kind of a, with both a key parts part of my of who life. You are. Yeah. yeah, and and then I sort of just filled in the gap. So I kind of had it to here for about seven years, and then I finally finished my arm. Um, and yeah, all the little fill-in parts are little personality things. I got a little memorial to my pop, my knuckle duster, because I think I'm a bit tough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and my traveller, because I've, I've travelled a lot, love, like luckily with my work and yeah, stuff. So, yeah. yeah, just lots of little filler filler things anchored at home. It's quite colourful. Yeah. You won't see that because we do everything yeah. in black and white here. Yeah, she's colourful. But um, it is quite colourful. Yeah. And yeah, very traditional, that kind of, well, not super traditional. It's not the heart with the dagger through it, the yeah. snake winding around it. But, but she's got some classic sparrows. And, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very nice. So yeah. under, under your, your right bicep, what have we got yeah. over there? Because that, that's... This is my favourite tattoo. It's just a piece of art that I like from Jacqueline Rehe, who had who did this part of my arm. Right. Um, it's just one of her pieces, and she had a banner underneath it that had um, "I only have eyes for you," but I just removed that and just kept her and ripping her eyes out. It's yeah. just the little goth girl that I love. A little bit of blood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Harken that's my back personality. To the 1990s. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, you know, like uh, one of my girlfriends is getting her first tattoo this year. Right. And she's like, what do I need to do? And I was like, you know, she's she's an adult. She's yep. not young. And I was like, put it on your screensaver. And in six months or a year, if you still love it, then you'll still love it. Okay. And that's what I did with this. Like I had this as my screensaver for ages. And I was like, I still love that. Okay. So I'm going to get it. And it's my favorite one. That's cool. Yeah. Now also, you did tell me that you were um, like a crash test dummy for a friend of yours who learnt to tattoo on you. Yes. We haven't taken those photos. No, you don't and need to. And I haven't to. seen those tattoos, but that's that's brave to say to a mate, yeah, get the gun out, do, go your hardest, <laughs> do whatever you want. Well, he wasn't a total noob. I mean, I can show you this little funny one here. I have a spud. So he's a potato <laughs> with arms flying in the air. Yep. And my crew, like my, my crew of friends, yep. all have this little spud. Okay. Because we're spud crew. Yep. Um, and that's when he was first starting. He's like, 
he's like, let's get something small, like as our friendship kind of group, our, yeah. our breaking crew. Um, so yeah, we've all got spuds. Well, certain members do. Okay. And, and a funny thing with this spud, which joins us as a collective of friends, mm -hmm. my buddy who's the tattooist moved to Sydney, I popped down to see one of his art shows and I got there early and I was waiting in this bar kind of by myself and this other guy was like sitting around and then I looked down and he had a spud and I was like, bro, you got the spud, who are you? And it was Aiden's brother who was over from New Zealand. Oh wow. Um, and we instantly became friends because we had spud life. There you go. Like we were connected by this spud tattoo. Um, but yeah, Aiden Sprinkles, he's um, well, has been a good, good close friend of mine for a long time and was an amazing artist and is now and is now an amazing tattoo artist um and yeah he he wasn't terrible but right. he definitely was new to tattooing okay so i've got a big fan like a emo fan with some skulls yep. on my leg yep. and some big bear with um <laughs> just just emo bear that's very, that's very early 2000s yeah. as well, the whole wolf and carbon Yeah, oh no, it's and... like a cartoon bear. It's oh, okay. like the Avatar. Um, no, it's hard to explain. It's a cartoon bear Okay. who's kind of going to murder you. He's okay. got like sneaky hands. So it's like a murderous <laughs> outline of a cartoon bear. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's like, obviously he didn't know too much about how the body stretches. Right, right. So when I stretch, the bear stretches as okay. well. Yeah. But, but as much as they, like, they're blown out and they're too deep and they've yeah, yeah. Like, got, you know, um, I still love them. I don't see them very often. I obviously I don't show that part of my body too much. So it doesn't bother me that they're not great. Right. And I actually love having my, my buddies work on me. Like yeah, it's, yeah. it's a friendship thing. And I, I like being a part of his life then as yeah, well, okay. you know? Yeah. Okay. So, so a connection. A, yeah, yeah, it's okay. a nice thing. All right. Yeah. My last question I always ask of everyone, like mm -hmm. I'm a complete clean skin, there are no hidden tattoos, nothing anywhere, I've never tattooed the bottom of my foot or you know, so it wears off, I've done none of that. So you've known me for a while, if, if I was to get my first tattoo, what would you recommend? We were talking earlier and, and your friends had hashtag winners on yeah. it and I feel like you're a bit of a winner, Brett. Um, I don't know, it's got a, I feel like like I'm not down with like, you know, the tattoo shows that always talk about, oh, every tattoo has to have a strong meaning. Sure. But I think that like, it doesn't have to be like um, obvious, the meaning. Mm -hmm. So just like something to you that represents who you are, I okay. think. Yeah, even if it's a leaf or, a, you know, like something that has a metaphor. So like a symbol. A symbol, yeah. Something that resonates with me. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool because then people would ask and I'm like, yeah, it's just that. Yeah, it's just, or, yeah. or I could open up and say, it's well, it's just a cherry exists. or something. Yeah. yeah, it's just a, yeah. I could mess with people. A beer can or yeah, something. That's been suggested. Yeah. A craft beer can. A crate. A crate, yeah. yeah. Lots of different things. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, right. a camera. A camera, yeah, that's been that's been suggested multiple times as well. Mm -hmm. A bit obvious, I reckon. Yeah. Camera, beer can. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I do think about it now. I never did before, but mm -hmm. I think about it a bit more now since I've been doing this. I don't know whether I'll get one or not. Everyone's kind of keen now, like, yeah, you need to get one. Be the last episode. I'm like, who said there's going to be a last episode? This is true. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming Thank in, you. mate. I appreciate it. Thank Next you. time I'll have beers. I promise. Right, we better have beers. Okay. Yeah. All right. We turn this Great. off the same way we turn it on.